here at a commercial property downtown Denver, they had a uh, urinal that uh, overflowed and uh, they didn't catch it quickly, obviously. You can kind of see all the uh, standing water coming out of the bathroom there. Um, came across here, there's a elevator room uh, on that side. You can kind of see the uh, reflection from the water there. So uh, definitely standing water still. Just got the call and jumped out here, got the work authorization signed on the uh, project. And the guys are on their way here as we speak to get everything uh, extracted. And uh, this would be a category uh, two loss. Um, there'll be, you know, some flooring that'll have to be uh, removed and uh, some flood cuts here, probably just one footers uh, to make sure we get everything cleaned out properly uh, with urine in the water. So. Um, as you can see here, uh, the vinyl floor does have concrete underneath it, so we'll have to, uh, you know, once we get things dried out here, the floor is probably going to have to be removed uh, so we can get the concrete dried out properly. Uh, the glue on the back side of this uh, vinyl could definitely uh, have issues with microbial growth if it's uh, not dried quick enough. So uh, I got some carpet squares here. As you can see here, we go into the um, bathroom. See kind of the drain backed up in here as well, and this is where the urinal was backed up. So we got tile walls in here. I have to do a little bit of demo. Uh, tile floor should be fine. Um, the reason why we would deal with uh, removal would be uh, removal of flooring out here would be because of the glue it would be a good food source for uh, mold to grow on. So we definitely, for this type of uh, dirty water, you know, we want to be able to get everything done right so we don't have any mold growth on the back end.